Jeff Bucks is rosling back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome to my returning subs, my grown, extended, beautiful family. Um, thank you for taking the time out for yourself. You know, um, we are always out there helping the world, help saving the world and helping you know, the next person in line, but it's just like we have to be able to give that same power and love towards ourselves as well. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe, hit that notification bell, drop me a line. Um, I would love a chance to get to hear from you, you know, even if it's about the, you know, uh, positive feedback of the content of my video. And, um, uh, or it's just you tell me about your empathic gift and how it impacts your life and heading you towards a positive direction. Also, if you feel like the videos are giving you good vibes or good information that you would love to share with a loved one, family, or friend, or even a fellow empath or going through trying times, please go ahead and share. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. And thank you so much for the love and support. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. Ooh, excuse me, y'all. Um, my video, my my background meditation music I'm listening to today is 417 Hertz, Remove Negative Energy, sac sac yeah, Sacral Chakra, Healing Sleep Meditation, 9 Hours, 444 Hertz. What is up with the 444? That's like the third, yeah, the third time I've seen it today. Um, and today my video is about Twin Flame 101. Hey, Oka's making peace with the situations that almost broke you. You have a beautiful life. Uh, waiting on you and you truly do you know there's times that you know I've was blessed to be able to you know talk to people and you know we we converse about different things that we have experienced out in life and um you know things that are currently happening or you know what brought us to be able to be connected like that you know and there are sometimes you know the universe is just wanting you to be able to see yourself as being happy you know it's just a lot of times we can feel like, you know, even though we're sending out positivity, you know, uh, we're getting negativity back. And there's times that it's just like I try to, I had to make sense of it myself as well as the other people. You know, universe doesn't see negative or positive. They just see the energy that's being put out. Because you could be pushing out positivity, but there's certain things that are still negative in your life that, you know, st sits back at the, you know, uh, the back of your mind. You're going through, you know, you're just trying to make ends meet um being as grateful as you possibly be you know but there's a lot of things that has been so damaging to us you know whether it happened in adolescence childhood or even adulthood that just really made you look at life different look at the world different through different eyes of being hurt being abused uh being saddened by something you know even two 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 when i see that um and being able to uh experience all those things you know, um, I've looked at my situation so many different ways. I mean, there will be days I'll be okay. Then there'll be days that, you know, it, it could take one, like, either it could be a certain situation that remind me of what I went through. One situation, you know, they kind of triggered something I probably forgot about. Or it's just for me, you know, doing a karma cleanse or, you know, just cleaning my, clearing my blessings all together just so I can be able to make it to that next step you know a lot of things is coming to that forefront and you know it's just like with all these different shifts and you know upgrades and all that stuff is allowing a lot of the painful situations to come back to the surface and it's not like you know they're trying to show you like okay remember this you know ego will do that and it's a lot of times when we go through that that's our weakest spot because sometimes we allow ego to overrule us I've, I've had it recently too so I'm, I'm gonna keep it real with y'all you know there's days I can be okay and there's days that you know, I get pissed beyond pissed you know because I you know I felt like I never deserved that you know the things that I've went through you know just being able to look at somebody like how can you do a person like that you must really be heartless for you to be able to do that or you must feel hurt that you have to go you're out your way to hurt somebody as well you know and there's a lot of things that we go through and it's just like you when you can be able to stand up or even vocalize the painful experiences that you have endured throughout your years that starts off as strength right there because a lot of time people hold this in their thoughts their hearts their souls and don't tell no one you know and it can make them bitter 
you know, I've seen people that was like that. You know, I used to work with people. I'm like, damn, why you got to walk around looking like what you went through? And they were like, excuse me? And you know, and I'm like, you're walking around here all mad, act like you're mad at the world, like everybody's caused your issues, you know, and it's sad that you do that. You know, I've even seen good things in people, you know, and I'm just like, hey, you know, you seem like you're a pretty cool person, but it's like the way you walk around, it's like you're leaving your feelings for everybody everybody to see on that display you know and that's not good you know because sometimes that can you know have people come out their way and mess with you because if they're insecure about their situations and they see that you got issues like that already they will mess with you you know um and I, i've seen it happen and it, it's just like so many different things that has happened in our lives that can be so unbearable can be you know like i mean there's a lot of times you know if you know you've been with me for a while you have seen me in my many stages you know i can be goofy as i don't know what be funny as i'll get out but then there's days that i'm you know i'm up in my feelings and y'all catch me crying and stuff like that because universe wants me to be able to let y'all see those different sides of me my different talents all these things that has to be out for display you know to be able to help you know bring things to the forefront for other people you know there's a lot of times my situations you know and being able to seek advice and, and give it as well you know has helped a lot of people you know it, it's just like yeah there's some things that we still need to put more effort on working on that's fine as long as you know that you're applying yourself to heal you know you should never get mad at yourself because you're not over something like that because it's like you, you've been conditioned for so long to believe this about yourself be conditioned for so long to constantly keep thinking about those certain situations so you're spending all your waking time from going through these spiritual awakenings the ascensions the kundalinis the dark night of the soul to uncondition yourself you know we have those rage spurts where we're you know we're up in you know going through hatred and get mad at the world and having an attitude getting, like my mama said got your ass on your shoulders you know all these different things you're going through in life you know you get mad at the world like why is this happening to me or you'll see other people having blessings while you're still waiting on yours that can be very hard trust me there are certain things i was up in my feelings yesterday and seeing certain things on youtube and not hating on that person but it was just like i was getting my feelings like you know what i don't even want to hear this so let me just go ahead you know i ain't gonna send no hate towards that person because they deserve them blessings that you know, i don't know all the things that they sacrifice but you know with that certain youtuber i seen you know they went through a lot of stuff and i've seen it because they put it on video and i really felt good for them but it was like my ego was allowing me to let that trigger be like you know they got theirs and you just waiting for yours because that that youtuber also said you know they were going through some really trying times and they were seeing blessings after blessings for these people and they got really hurt because they they were in a tragic you know, like a toxic relationship and everything is it's already worse when you go through situations but when you go through it in the public eye it's like 10 times worse when you go through stuff like that so it's just like you know i was happy for them but it was just like something i didn't want to see you know because it was gonna put me in you know it, it almost triggered me so i didn't allow those situations to trigger me i just went on to something else or whatever but it's like a lot of times we can go through things and it might seem like life is not fair trust me i say that all the time i you know i tell people you know if you have that blessing within a family that are being supportive but sometimes they can be petty you know if there's something that you know you can y'all can just discuss con converse about or even go to therapy just to try to mend your relationship do that you know, if it's like abusive or anything like that and you see it's becoming a pattern, you know, those are the things you just have to, you know, get seek closure with on your own if they're not even trying to do it and going about your business. I had to do that with mine, you know, because they knew I wanted closure to be able to know my family, to be able to, you know, just to be able to go to my dad's funeral. I wasn't even allowed to do any of that. So I was angered. You know very angry because i didn't get that chance to say goodbye or even hello you know so i was going through all those things but it's like the universe had to tell me you know you don't know all that what, what went on you don't you know i try not to hold my family my biological family accountable you know because there's a lot of things that i'm not seeing eye to eye with them but i just out of respect to my family i just don't really say nothing about my family my aunts and uncles and stuff like that because i don't know what's been said about me because i know when i have talked to my dad there was a lot of times he was like you're totally opposite from what they talk about when they say something about you and i never caught on to what he was talking about until after all those things happened so it, it's just like I had to be able to make peace with myself because I know I deserve happiness just because these people are going out their way to make sure that I suffer in the worst kind of way because they hated what I was. They hated that I was a man, you know, uh, you know, uh, 
definitely see a mirror image of my dad in all kind of ways, you know, musical, you know, wanted to play instruments. I was just like my dad. So I was like a female version. So they, you know, family got mad at that and they tried to break it any kind of way possible because they feel like there was only one prince that it should be only one prince. You know, there shouldn't be another copy running around here acting like him, you know, and it was just like, you know, even though we, me and my dad has always met together, you know, especially after you pass, gone through astral projection, and he's like, now nah, I finally get why they didn't want us together because we act too much alike. I'm like, yeah, we don't. They don't need two of us running around. It's just one of you is good enough. One of me is good enough. But both of those together, oh boy, you know that would have been all said and done. But going through all this is taught me so much. You know, there's, you know, I, I'm not even gonna lie. You know, I have strength in me. I have that power in me. You know, but I can't keep crying over the same things, even though, you know, I need, you know, I feel like I want to not need to. But, you know, if it's going to make me feel better to go ahead and, you know, push that out to the universe, you know, letting them know how I feel, you know, because there's a lot of times I bottled up you know, the things because I never, I could never grieve with anything. You know, I was always told you need to get over it. My best friend, as soon as I moved down to Georgia, you know, it was already enough as it is, you know, um, of losing my mom. And it was just for me to stay in the Midwest because there's, I can always go past her old house. I can go always past, you know, the houses we stayed in and I can remember that. But being here was like a culture shock to me. So it's like right after that, you know, I got here in 2010 and my two closest friends, you know, that I held dear to me passed away like not even three or four months apart. So it was like, I didn't have anybody to grieve with. I couldn't tell my children, you know, until a certain amount of time because I didn't want to mess their situations up as well because they, you know, they looked at my best friends like aunts. So, you know, going through that, I had nobody to grieve with because those are the people that I held dear that I always talked to. They were no longer here. So it was like, I never had that chance to grieve. I didn't have that shoulder to cry on, you know, telling my kids that it broke their heart, you know, knowing we lost people that was th that close to us in such a short period of time, just moving. It was already enough for me to adjust the move, but just to be able to go through all that and I had to go through it alone. You know, there was a lot of things that, you know, I mean, it's broke me, but it's just like my spirit guides, my, my grandmother and my grandfather, you know, and my dad as well. You know, they, they tell me for everything that you've been through, you know, my, cause my dad tell me, I didn't, you know, when all this stuff was about to come out for me to be able to know all the things that has happened that I didn't know about, you know, he was like, it's not going to be pretty. And I don't know if you're going to be able to make it through this. And, you know, for me to be able to know the things that I know and not being, you know, you know, nut house or whatever you want to call it, psychiatric ward. I don't want to call it nut house because, you know, there's a lot of people that have to go to that. And it was very therapeutic for me, uh, therapeutic for me because I have been, you know, back and forth there when, you know, I've tried to commit suicide a few times. So I had to be placed in a place like that but I felt like when I was able to talk to somebody I felt a lot better after that because you know I tell people if you feel like for the wellness of your health or even for you living if you need to go ahead and seek seek professional help like that please do it if you can you know um but it's hard to do that <laughs> if you're not dealing with somebody who's spiritually inclined like us because you can go out talking about spiritual awakenings and all this stuff and they were looking at the man this look <laughs> your ass crazy you know they, and they'll put you up somewhere but, you know, they, they seen where my problems were. They, they lied in my family uh, towards the things that I've endured because they felt like there's something not right. There's something they're not telling you. And it's like every therapist told me that. And when they got to the nitty gritty, they would never show up for family therapy. So it, it's just like going through all those different things I really had to make peace with. There's days, you know, I, I mean, it, it went from being pissed, being homicidal to being you know, frustrated, angry, and then went from angry to disappointed, you know, to just, I just gotta let it go, you know, because I feel like I'm very blessed beyond measures, because it's like seeing how society is set up right, right around these days, people get killed for stuff like that, with what I've endured, you know, and I feel like I'm blessed, because I felt like, you know, that they're, that Death is too good for them. That's too final. And they still had hell to look forward to. I'd rather for me to go ahead and heal in the most possible way and allow the universe and, you know, God to see fit what happens for that situation. You know, what's meant for me will be for me, regardless of who 
tries to put their hand in the cookie jar to try to make sure I don't get things. You know, I felt like life wasn't fair. You know, how could these people alter my life, alter my memory, you know, um, keep me away from my family? Uh, a lot of other things that, you know, that, that I didn't have no choice in the matter. You know, I felt very betrayed, you know, especially, you know, your 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 father, if, if it's an adopted father, biological, they're there to pose, protect you. I didn't have that. So, you know, being able to do that, I had to be my mother. I had to be my own father as well as being an adult to my children. You know, I had to go through a lot. But being able to do these videos every day to be able to tell you all about how I get through things, how, you know, I, I try to do my best to make things happen for me because I deserve happiness. You deserve happiness. You know, um, things that has happened in our life that we don't place ourselves in because this is the contract we we decided to be in before this lifetime, you know, that, you know, you're going to get through this, but it was just the choice of, you know, the fine print that we weren't notified of that all our memory, we knew how we were going to get out of it, knew how we were going to heal. We knew what was going to happen for us to get there. They had to wipe out the memory because it would have been too easy if you knew how to get through these things. You had to maneuver. So you had to have these different things put in your life like a, a learning mechanism, not a coping me mechanism, but a learning mechanism to heal, to be able to see things for what they truly are. Look outside the box. Don't put yourself inside a box. Knowing, you know, you cannot allow you know no, nothing can happen unless you allow it to you know being able to forgive for all me measures love separate yourself from tragic things with love and light all these things we had to learn to deal with with this upgrade of healing and knowing that you were going to come out better than you were when you first started um being through these situations you know y'all have shared a couple of y'all had a few of y'all have shared tragic things in your life with me you trusted me with your secrecy you know um and you know being able to place prayers on you because it's just like with, when people tell me certain things it gives me like a visual of the things you went through which that's the part i don't like but you know god gave me that gift be able to help other people being able to see the things that they might not have been able to see within themselves you know like being a learn you know a teacher and a student at the same time you know i'm learning stuff off of you as you're learning things off of me and being able to see things when it you know things seem foggy you know things were placed in our life that you know i feel like we bent up a little bit we been like timex you know take a lick in and keep on ticking you know those type of situations but i never felt you know people i used to think i was broken and i'm not broken you know i might have been a little jaded you know damaged you know but never broken you know we go through things we heal from things but we should be unfair to ourselves for robbing our happiness because of the things that people placed upon us you know yes it's a tragic thing that people you know, place things on you because it's like, you know, a lot of the people that do that, they know what it felt like to be that way, but they did it to us, you know, and I can't really say anything because I was narcissistic in my way as well and didn't realize I was, you know, dealing with my children and seeing how my, their adult life has been affected from that. That's why I'm trying to work my ass off to make sure my children are okay within their heart as well as their mind. You know wanting them to heal you know because this is like something you, you know we have to break that generation for we have to break that mold of being pained being hurt being abused all those things have to stop now you know with our generation before it goes any further and that's the reason why we go through so much hell and it's been hard because it just seems like if you're looking from the outside in, it can be so simple. But if it's something that, you know, it, it and it gets frustrating, especially to me, it's like something so simple. It's so hard to get through at times, you know, but it's all how you have to look at it. It's all how you have to apply yourself, believe in yourself when other people don't believe in you. You know, you have made it this far. There's a lot of things that has happened in your life that you felt like you weren't going to get over or that you think you weren't going to ever heal from. You have to be able to take yourself back to that situation and see, you know, yeah, it took time. Yeah, it took moments and moments of meditating, self-talk to say, you know what, things happen. You know, things occur in our lives that it can be very truly tragic. You know, nobody knows how that grieving process will be for you. You know, a lot of people are like, you shouldn't be still grieving. They don't know if they have not been in that situation. People don't understand unless they're put in your situation. And I guarantee you, if they were put in your shoes, they probably wouldn't be able to take one step because that's a lot of things that you had to deal with. There's a lot of people 
that got mad because of my situation and wish they were in my situation. But when they see what I had to be and do in my situation, they want to step back because that's a lot to have to deal with. So allow yourself to heal. You know, allow yourself to be able to seek that happiness that you desperately need in your life because there's a beautiful, you know, beautiful outcome. And I have to tell myself that all the time. You've got a beautiful outcome of a life that's waiting for you if you just give yourself that chance. You know, a lot of times it's just the most simplest things is to help hold us back from the biggest achievements possible because we're allowing ourselves to still be angry. We're allowing ourselves to still not you know, forgive people, not for them, but for yourself, for a piece of damn mind. You know, we all need that. So allow yourself to heal. And I tell myself this every day, let go, because your blessings are a lot bigger than your problems. I guarantee you that. Because when you see how much hell you don't went through and how many other people you have helped along the way, as well as you're trying to heal yourself, and when you finally see that outcome of all that, and you when you finally get to it, you're going to understand why you had to go through the stuff you had to go through. So I'm not giving my post notification out because it's like already 21 minutes. So I will see you on my next video. Like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Share. Give me a thumbs up. Let me know if you uh, resonate with this video. And I will see you on my next video. I hope y'all have a blessed, safe weekend. Be responsible and safe for everything you do. And sound as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. I'll see you on my next video. Much love. Peace.